Hi, it's Robert again, and this is a uh, repair on the door handle and the hinge for a Samsung model uh, ME16K3000AS. And this, I think, this model also this uh, handle also fits a variety of different Samsung models. And everybody already knows that these models, the handles, break off very easily. Find the other one. The last time I had it, I uh, we just bought a new microwave, and then, of course Samsung changed the height uh, of this, and I had a chip away tile. So this time I was like, no way am I going to do this again. So I researched the internet and I found a replacement handle on Amazon for like ten bucks. Um, the other issue was when you shut the microwave. Um, after the handle broke, uh, the microwave would just come on by itself with no timer gun going, or not, no heat. So it would just, you'd shut the door and it would just spin and spin and spin with the lights on. So I ended up having to leave it open and then taking a piece of uh, Gorilla tape, putting it up here, closing it and lifting up on it to get it to start. Not the safest in the world. So, um, there's other videos out there. If you want to learn how to actually take this panel apart, it's very easy. All you really need is... Uh, a couple of flat-headed screwdrivers. Uh, a drill is nice with a extended bit. A pair of pliers. And a hammer. A hammer always fix things. So, first of all, sorry I'm so shaky, but that's just me. Uh, the videos will tell you, you just take a, a screwdriver and you slip it in here and you break away the seal. I would get a couple screwdrivers because as you do it, um, you, want, you don't want it to fall back in place. And if you notice right there, there's there's one right there. I should have known. I put, if I would have done it before, I would have done the same thing. I would have put a, I would have pried this one out also at the same time, because what it did is it got it split out there. You can see the line, but it's functioning fine now. After you pull these off, once you pull it off, uh, you got the top screw right there. Let's see, flashlight. And then you have one behind this corner but it's set back deep. Hence why you need the longer drill bit to get to it. Um, so what you do is when you're unscrewing this, you put the drill in this side. On this side, you'll notice here, those are the broken parts that are left over inside the microwave and attached to the screws. So I tried uh, hitting it with the with the, uh, the driver first, and this just spun. So, I grabbed it with a pair of pliers, held it tight, got it on, and then unscrewed it up very easily. Then I took the, you can save the screws, because everybody else is right, they don't come with new screws. Um, I then cleaned around here first, because there was always dirt and junk in there. What a nice, flat, smooth surface. And then I, uh, uh, using a smaller screwdriver, real tiny one, I started the threads on this because you can't do it by hand since it's plastic you're going into. It's very difficult. So use a screwdriver, just get it started, and then do the same down here. And then you can, uh, uh, I just pushed it up against the back here, and then uh, right hand held the drill, left hand held this, and then tighten the screw down, and then tighten that screw down. But you also have to make sure, because it feels like it's tight, but it's not. This right here won't be flush. So I pull it until it's flush and don't over tighten it because you will strip it. So I would go snug and then maybe like an oil filter, maybe get an eighth of a turn and that's it, no more, it's on there fine. Now the other issue was the door moved up and down, up and down. Uh, the repairman who came out to fix my Samsung refrigerator for something else, this is this this uh, microwave is out of warranty, told me uh, it's cheaper just to replace the microwave. So I started looking at it very closely and I noticed that um, now this I have kids in the house, so when they open the microwave, they come here and they and I can reach and straight on it. But kids have a tendency to pull down. Over a period of time, I started looking, and over a period of time, they slowly bent the hinges. Both these hinges were bent down, and this gave this one especially, and this gave this a lot of play. It's got a little play in there now. If you see it, 
but before it was probably twice as much and this thing is not so well built that this moves up and down as well but this might be a screw behind here but this is what I did to fix it I just took a little screwdriver the bigger the hammer the better and I just put, put this up here and just tapped it until you have to tap it pretty hard until this comes up level and then um, here this one will be bent down also and then I came under here and I tapped it also now I have a very minimal flex now the microwave works just fine and it's there's no it's not shutting on and off like it was before you have to keep messing with the door and that's the fix that hinge is going to make all the difference in the world a lot of people don't think about this stuff i do somebody bent the hinge on this causing the latch not to hook properly in the microwave to either cut on or cut off at will all right hope that helps good luck and see you next time